Hello guys, it's me again with part two of our little elk. And I don't want to make it too abstract because we still have this little guy here. So today, well, I already edited the horns. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so right now we're just going to start darkening the dark part of, you know, that chest. I lost my review somewhere upstairs, so can't really look at that, but I'm not gonna make it too scribbly. So and as we get to the top it's gonna be a little bit lighter because it's not as much fur, you know. Not done yet. Okay. So I think we're done. I'm not for sure. And then we're going to color in the horns. And the horns usually have white tips at the top. So I'll try to get that and we're drawing all the lines that actually show the age of the elk and as I should mention we are drawing a bull elk not a cow elk I learned that from wolf quest so yeah and for those of you who will ask my username on wolf quest I don't have one I don't have an account because I tried to make one so I could go on multiplayer but just didn't work. Okay. Yeah. Um, so there's the antlers. Now we're going to start the hooves because we didn't ever finish those. So I didn't really do much detail on the hooves because they were very colored in. So we're not going to do that much detail on this one either. You know, just do some simple like squares. I mean, so now that we've done all of that, we shall make edit that hoof. We are going to color in the legs. Because if you look at a picture of an ilk, it's dark up here, but then it's also dark on uh, everywhere on the legs. Now it starts to get lighter up here. Got a little dark tail too. So just gonna start on it. I usually start at the bottom and it, that way it's easier to start fading it as it gets to the top. Crap, it's starting to get a little abstract, but, you know, can't really help that, because I draw a lot of abstract, so it's kind of force a habit. So I gotta sharpen my pencil. Uh, that might have been loud, might have not, but... So you're just going to do this 
each leg and start fading it as it gets to the top. Last leg. Okay, so we're going to swing by as it looks. If I do use this, then I won't know what I'm going to use it for. So, now the main body. First, we're going to do that tail and darken it a little. Okay, there we go. So, wow, all this from a few circles and some lines. <laughs> so, I'm going to start to make like muscle lines, <laughs> if you would call them, I guess. And they're going to be dark so you can still see them. So you don't really see the guidelines anymore because I told you that to be perfect. Going to color of them. Wow, as I'm seeing the camera, it's like kind of blurry, kind of not. And it looks really good, but when I start to zoom in, it looks really bad. So I might just keep it this way. <laughs> Well, I might as well zoom in. So, there is my egg. What about yours? <laughs> uh, let me put this down a little. So, finishing touches. Let's add some, you know, grass. Just because. <laughs> Uh, autograph. That's my autograph. <laughs> yep, it looks like a bunch of scribbles, but it's not. <laughs> I mean, all autographs kind of look like, you know, scribbles. No one knows why. Well, you know, I'm only ten, so... Yes, we actually do get to use our inky little friend on the eye. The eye, the eye! Hmm, what else should I use it on for? I think it's new. Grass. 